and I can't wait to see what they do with it next. I know. I don't know if you keep up with the rumor mill, but there's like one popping off about Charles right now that he might show up in Doctor Strange. Oh, really? Yeah. Get nothing to say on that. Can't yeah. Confirm. <laughs> it's it's so I I feel for like people like Andrew Garfield who've been doing so much press lately and then there's rumors about him showing up in movies and he's just like, no, not in it. Like, leave me alone. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. They're just doing it because like the actor has to say no and we're used to the actor saying no and then they do show up. But I'm saying no and I mean it. I'm saying no and I mean it. <laughs>
This really disturbs Strange and adds again to his mental torment. Unfortunately, America, Chavas, appears chased by the demon Shimagura. However, it's been renamed to Gargantus due to copyright reasons, and that's pretty much been confirmed. Just look at the model for it. Doctor Strange and Wong are able to stop the creature by ripping its eyeball out. The trio meet up in the pizza joint. Chavas remarks she likes this type of pizza because there is one in every universe she has visited so far chavez is lgbt this is shown in the film she explains for the last few years she's been chased through the multiverse by demons who made her world collapse she shows both Wong and Doctor Strange the corpse of Defender Strange. The trio goes to Kamataj in order to keep Chavez safe, whilst Wong and Strange try to figure out what the friggin' hell is actually going on. Rintra, a minotaur, is introduced in this scene. Strange goes to Wanda, who lives in the middle of nowhere, between some mountains. Wanda appears to be sad when talking about her decisions in Westview, but Strange tells her he needs her help regarding the multiverse. Wanda offers Strange help and he returns to Kimotaj. Once he leaves the orc, she lives in disappears, revealing an apocalyptic landscape. Wanda turns back around with a smile, thanking Doctor Strange has returned. Instead, it is Baron Mordo from Doctor Strange, the first one. He is decapitated by Wanda when he tells her he won't stop trying to kill her. When Strange returns, he has a vision of Wanda killing Mordo. This causes Kamataj to go under full lockdown mode. The place Kamataj is attacked by Wanda who goes on a freaking rampage through sorcerer after sorcerer going after Chavez. Though one is captured by Wanda, Chavez accidentally transports her and Strange into another timeline. The pair go to Stark Industries in New York City. The world has lots of Iron Legion robots like from Age of Ultron. In Times Square, a message from Chris Evans, President Chris Evans, played by Steve Rogers. The pair find a variant version of Tony Stark, only not quite like the 616 universe. Tony Stark is played by Thomas Cruz, and he is a deranged narcissist, and that's pretty much been confirmed. There's actually a picture going around as well. He keeps the head of his universe, Thanos, in a jar of liquid and mocks it. Tony mentions that he and the Iron Legion went and killed Thanos. Tony then transports into a suit similar to the superior Iron Man suit. In the center are three infinity stones. Tony and the Iron Legion then capture Strange and Chavez and take them to the Illuminati. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. The Illuminati, Patrick Stewart, Professor X, Ian McKenna, Magneto, Variant Black Bolt, from the Inhumans, Monica Rambo as Captain Marvel. Then we got Captain Carter. Then we got Bruce Banner. Then we got Mr. Fantastic. And then we got Tom Cruise, Iron Man. And it's worth saying that the original versions of a variant Mordo, who is actually Sorcerer Supreme, and Bruce Campbell playing Boulder the Brave, the half brother of Thor. A variant version of Christina Palmer works under Patrick Stewart, Professor X, and keeps Chavez in prison. Both Professor X and Magneto have comic book accurate suits, while Professor X hover in wheelchair like in the 19s comics. Magneto looks very similar to his look in X-Men 2000. The two are playing chess when this scene begins. The Illuminati confront Strange. Strange explains Wanda Maximoff is sending demons through the multiverse in order to siphon America Chavez's powers to find her children. After the destruction of Westview, Wanda can't actually travel through the multiverse but can astral project herself into her variant in the multiverse. That's that's some pretty cool stuff. Mordo, Bolder the Brave, Black Bolt, Iron Man, want to kill Strange. As multiversal travel isn't allowed, Mordo tells the group he knew Stephen Strange in his universe that destroyed it. This is the greatest threat to our universe, is you. That line is from the trailer. Strange does feel this, but Professor X, Captain Marvel, Bruce Banner, Mr. Fantastic disagree. Magneto warns the group that a member of the X-Men has a sibling named Wanda Maximoff, who currently has two children 
children. Magneto also states that she is his daughter. When the opposing side disagrees, Professor X immediately calls the X-Men. Mr. Fantastic calls the remaining members of the Fantastic Four and says they had a huge problem. It is mentioned that the Human Torch was killed. Doctor Strange fights Baron Mordo when the Illuminati goes to find the variant of Wanda at the farmhouse. This universe, Wanda, is playing with her two children. Aaron Taylor Johnson, Quicksilver, is actually in the scene. I don't know if that's the case. He could be. And he gets an alert from the X-Men to watch Wanda. Wanda takes over Quicksilver's mind and tells him to run as fast in the opposite direction. Variant Wanda is possessed by Scarlet Witch and her body quickly begins to deteriorate. Professor X, Magneto, and the original trilogy X-Men, Jean Grey, Halle Berry as Storm, the original Cyclops, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine are in the scene in the comics and yes, in the yellow suit, Jessica Alba is playing the Invisible Woman and is completely CGI version from 2005. Thing, Aid Master, fantastic as well. I don't believe Michael showed up at all. The Thing has no lines. This scene is incredibly brutal as the Invisible Woman and the Thing are the first to be killed by Wanda. Wanda makes Halle Berry electrocute Cyclops to death as Cyclops' eye beams destroy Storm. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. And as we said in the prelude, guys, this could be made up, but it is it is what it is either way. Jean Grey is finished off by Wanda by trapping her in some sort of power sphere where a culmination of the chaos magic and the Phoenix kills her. Could Wanda take out the Phoenix herself? I don't know, guys. Let me know down below because the Phoenix, Phoenix mode is freaking strong as hell. Professor X attempts to rid the quickly decaying Wanda variant of the Scarlet Witch. By his neck is broken. Magneto tries to tell his daughter to reason with her, but Wanda completely decimates him. Doctor Strange, Variant Palmer, and Chavez reunite. This scene is a classic Sammy Raimi horror scene as a decayed Wanda destroys stuff around her trying to capture the trio. Using Christina's bracelet, they open the door to the multiverse. I believe this was the scene at the end of No Way Home in the trailer. Unfortunately, Chavez is captured and Doctor Strange and Christina are thrown into the dying universe by Wanda. This is Baron Mordo's world that was destroyed by evil Doctor Strange and it shows a decay in New York. The Geo go to Sanctorium of the Universe where Evil Strange is at. The trailer makes Evil Strange present in the film overstated. He is only actually in one sequence. He is not the villain of this film at all. In the main universe, Wanda takes Chavos and Wom back to Kamatage. Though the Minotaur and the Sorcerer try to fight. Wanda takes over the weaker Sorcerer's minds with nightmares and kills most of them in an instant. A young Sorcerer faces off to Wanda and sacrifices themselves to destroy the Dark Hold. Wong tells Wanda that another Dark Hold is attached into the walls of the castle. Rests on Windigo Mountain. After Wanda tells Wom, she will plunge all of reality into chaos. He also tells her that Wintergon Mountain is where chaos magic originated from. That is pretty deep if that is the case. The Darkhold has corrupted Wanda's mind with lies and she believes her children are actually in danger so the demons can use the chaos magic to overtake the multiverse. At Wintergon Mountain Castle, Wanda uses the combined power of America Chavez and the dark hole to cast herself through the multiverse for her children. In the sequence, we see Sylvie from Loki looking at the multiverse breaking. We also get the cameo appearance of Loki characters at the TVA going into pure chaos. Due to Wanda's actions, multiple universes are destroyed and plunged into a void, including variant versions of the MCU, the Fox universe, and the Fantastic universe. Variants of different MCU characters characters are starting to come through into the main timeline, the main universe. One tries to stop Wanda, but she incapacitates him and throws him out of the castle. He is able to stop himself from falling. The evil Doctor Strange variant looks very similar to the What If version. Doctor Strange and his battle over a spell that could possibly cure 
Wanda Maximoff. Doctor Strange kills the evil Strange by impaling him. Doctor Strange leaves Christina in this universe and the astral projection, his soul, into the dead body of Defender Strange. He basically becomes almost like a zombie at this point. Doctor Strange is able to make it to the castle with the aid of Rinatra the Minotaur one and a few main in sorcerers by whispering to chavos the spell chavos is able to stop wanda's control over her wanda and america chavos break through the multiverse in their fight and multiple different universes are shown though doctor strange is able to return to his body and christina to the mcu due to an instability of the multiverse the multiverse is converging into the main MCU. It is much worse version than the No Way Home climactic scene. Now this is where it starts to get freaking crazy. Demons are pouring through, trying to enter the universe. In a huge climactic scene, Doctor Strange and the variant of the MCU characters team up to fight the demons. Multiple cameos in this scene. Most are just old actors though. John Kay and Emily Blunt, Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman, Sophie Turner, Michael Fassbender, James McAvoy, Alexandra Ship return as their respective X-Men roles. Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool. Apparently Ryan Reynolds, Deadpool is upset because he can't drop the F-bomb in this universe. But did we expect Kevin Feige to let them do this to the house of the mouse? No, because although it's a Marvel movie, it's still under the Disney franchise. Same as Deadpool in other characters. Wesley Snipers Blade. I'm very skeptical about that one. And also this one. Edward Norton Hope. Not... Edward Norton, just a Hulk version. Just a CGI version of the 2008 Hulk. Nicolas Cage as Ghost Rider. Mostly just a flaming skull, but Cage does show up briefly. Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man, as seen, but no dialogue. Okay, this is literally being confirmed by multiple things. There's actually an image going around of the voice actor, the Spanish voice actor, with the Spanish voice actor for Wanda, so it's clearly for that. Liam Hemsworth plays a variant of Thor, very classical look. Look it. Thomas Jane as War Machine Punisher. He wears a War Machine armor, just painted black with the white skull. We also see the cast of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Hulu, Runaway, Freeform, Cloak, and Dagger. Yeah, I know that some of these cameos do, do sound pretty far-fetched, if I'm being honest. But the next one sounds even more far-fetched. Robert Downey Jr. returning, wearing the Mark III armor. Doctor Strange is highly saddened by him. It seems that Tony is as well. The two both apologize at the same time, saying they wish it could have been different. And they wish it could have been them to die in their respective versions of Endgame. The two hug and are able to move past the Endgame. The multiversal teams fight the Demons. And this scene was mostly pre-visual. I think most of the movie is going to be pre-visual, to be honest. Wanda realizes her mind has been corrupt. When she finds her children being taken care of by an adoptive couple, her children are horrified by her appearance. In the end, Wanda sacrifices herself and the Darkhold castle. This merges seven universes together unclear how many yeah so we're getting a new mcu kind of merge with every other universe in theory if this is true wanda and chavos train doctor strange are heavily disturbed by the events that just have transpired a pre-visual doctor strange meeting wanda's teenage children was shown no actors attached to this and this is the scene where everyone's gonna freak out this is the post credit scene but i don't believe there's just gonna be one post credit scene but i do believe the doctor strange meeting wanda's teenage children if this is true guys we've got to talk like it's true or else there's no point in literally going over it so the post credit scene here says mcu Christina resurrected as someone named Clea. Clea was rumoredly supposed to be the villain in this movie and also in Nightmare. The freaking Nightmare was also supposed to be the villainous movie, but neither are in this plot leak. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. A third eye appears on Doctor Strange. Very freaking interesting. Now, if we go back to the test screen and information, people said there was a cliffhanging scene and it could be Doctor Strange with a third eye and it could be 
you know, clear finally come into the MCU. That could be the case. And also, it did say they wanted a Doctor Strange 3. Generally, the third movie is where things go downhill. Now, I know some people are going to be like, yo, War Stew, you literally went over this five days ago. I know I did, but I kind of agree with your comments. I really did kind of agree with your comments. So I will put a pinned comment to that other video. There's no point in taking it down. I might as well leave it there because it shows growth. It shows growth as the creator. I took your feedback and a lot of you guys said I edited it badly and, you know, it was all jumbled up. So hopefully this will be a much better version. As I said, guys, in the, in the prologue, this is just a fan theory. Maybe someone claims they've watched it. I mean, it's come after reshoot. So it could be. It is from seven days ago. So take it with a massive grain of salt. But I know firsthand that a lot of this stuff is actually true not all of it some of it sounds far-fetched some of it's true but i'd love to know what you guys actually think is true and what isn't true remember all the rumors for no way home toby Maguire, andrew garfield they weren't in it they weren't in it willem dafoe they weren't in it but they were in it so take everything with a massive grain of salt Hopefully you guys subscribe to the channel. We're going to do Marvel DC pop culture based content. We do it on a daily basis. Check us out on Instagram at Warstew. Check us out on Twitter, WarstewG. But most importantly, comment down below for the algorithm. Like this video. Share this video everywhere. Let me know if you think this is real. And Disney, if you are listening. I don't think this is real. This is not a block leak, but it could be a block leak. I don't know. I've got no idea if it is real. So like always, guys, thank you very much for spending some time with me on your Friday, which will be the time when I post this video. So like always, guys, I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.